Hey guys, we're here at Dice Tower Con, and I'm here with Justin from CGE. Justin, what are we looking at that's coming now, and what's coming at Gen Con up next? Well, what we've got right now is we have our Codenames XXL that we just re uh, released at, at Origins. It's the okay. supersized version of the uh, game that I think maybe a few people have heard of a now and then. Probably, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's kind of building steam a little bit. <laughs> but um, but then we also have coming to Gen Con, we have our re-release of Pictomania, ah, cool. the super fun, uh, fast drawing game that we originally released uh, released about six years ago. And what we did is we updated a lot of the components for it. We made it a smaller price point, got rid of the dry erase boards and markers, paper, pencil, a lot of new words in the word card. So, well, but all, all the same fun and craziness, simultaneous drawing and guessing is still all there. Awesome. So we're really hoping people enjoy it. You guys have been demoing it here. Lots of people having fun. Oh, yeah. I've seen I people mean, playing it and having a great time. Absolutely. What is this going to retail for at Gen Con? Uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Cool. Yep. So same size, same, same uh, price as code name. So it's going to be really accessible to a lot of people. And then it'll be in our friendly local game store right after that, I assume? Yeah, or? probably like the end of August, early September. Oh, okay. So a little while around. Oh, yep. Wait. Okay. Excellent. Good. Well, thank you guys so much. Tune in for our next one up in just a second. All right, so I'm here with Kevin Berkey from Game Toppers LLC. Man, everywhere I walk, I just see Game Toppers everywhere. In it's this so building. fun, right? It's so I mean, it is very cool. We brought 30 Game Toppers here to Dice Tower, and we had 16 of them are sold to publishers, Dice Tower Con, the Hot Games Room. It's all Dice Tower. It's Game Toppers Central, right? It is, and I, I love how much it just upgrades the entire con experience because. Last year, you go to these cons and you're just sitting at wooden and plastic tables. Yeah. And this year, it feels like I'm in the game room. Like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's so cool. You guys have got some amazing, I've seen some several custom mats out in different places. Uh, we were over at um, Big Sweet Kid Mess. Games. Yeah, yeah, theirs looks beautiful. That Sweet Mess mat is amazing. And we actually had 14 different mats during our Kickstarter. We've got the dungeon mat, the space mat, the adventure mat. And people are loving these mats. Three millimeter stitched edge, really high quality. How do you go about getting a custom one? Like, what's the time frame and what's the price? Um, it's really not something we're trying to sell, to okay, be honest. Okay. But we can facilitate it for publishers. So it's okay, kind of an yeah. expensive one-off deal. But okay, gotcha. if you need it, we can help. It takes it to such another level that it's crazy. Uh, we've been looking at some Dice Towers, too. This is like the Megatron version, right? Yeah, this is the Castle Dice Tower. And what's great about these, they connect right on the, right on the rail system. People just love chucking dice. I mean, it's crazy fun, and you can slide them around, and, and people just love it. Are you running any kind of special? What's the best way for people to get a hold of one? Website? Right, right now, what's going? You go to GameToppersLLC.com. GameToppersLLC. We have our pre-orders, and we are just at the end of our fulfillment of all of our Kickstarter luxuriant Watsons. Okay. So you can get those now, and they're going to be shipping within two weeks. Right. We only have about 50 of each style. We've got the big Mycroft, which is our 48 by 72. It's wonderful. But any of these toppers, you can buy a rail and make it a mini topper, which love people love that feature. So we can do that. We have the Watsons, we have the Lestrades, we have the Homes, and uh, all of these are going to be available, but they're going fast. Sometimes we're getting one and two orders a day. Wow, so wow. we've sold out almost everything we had at the show here. What's like the next step then? Are you guys going to produce more, have another Kickstarter, be able to just buy them through the website? How do we... That, that's what we're looking to do in the future. We're going to be opening up international distribution. So wow, we're going okay. to continue to do that. We have a ton of new innovations that are going to invigorate people who already have a game topper, yeah, like right? yourself. I just got excited. Yep. So you're <laughs> going to be able to get... They'll all be generation to generation compatible. Okay. And then all kinds of new mats, new accessories. We've got some crazy storage solutions. Super fun. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks so much, man. Thank you, man. We're going we're to play some games, right? Absolutely. We're going to sure try. Let's do it. We'll catch you guys in a few. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> hey, guys. Jay from Southern Fried Game Night is hanging out with me this week, and we are doing some interviews here at Dice Tower Con. We're with Andrew from USAopoly. Hello. Hello. And today we're looking at Samurai Jack. Yes. Yeah? You want to give us a rundown? I'll, I'll hand this off. Okay, and sure. give us a rundown of what we're looking at. Right. So this is Samurai Jack, Back to the Past. So this is a signature game that um, we developed. I was the designer for this game based off of the, the series, including the fifth and final season of Samurai Jack that came out last year. Uh, and the object of the game is as playing as one of Jack's friends, his allies, his companions, in his quest to defeat Aku, you are trying to earn the most honor points in aiding Jack in his quest. So no one plays as Jack, no one plays as Aku, but you can see they are present in the game. And the way the game works is there's two phases to each turn. There's a movement phase and then an action phase. And the object is to advance your character through this path of location cards 
to collect support cards that you're going to turn in at the end of each leg of your journey to try and help defeat the villains. So you've got some action, some hidden movement action selection that's going to have some set collection as you reach the villains and try and match these symbols listed in order to help defeat the villains and earn honor points. And whoever can earn those honor points after three rounds is going to win. So I'll take you through a round really quick. First, you're going to reveal a movement card for Jack. He's going to advance that location. Then all the players have a choice of the five movement cards for each of the locations. They're all going to choose one secretly, put it face down, and simultaneously reveal, and then advance to the location they've selected. So someone might go to the jungle, someone might go here with Jack, someone might go here to the field. Then you're also going to reveal for Aku, because he's chasing you along all the while. He might also end up in the field here. You're after you, that's, yeah, probably, not that's probably not going to be very good for you. So after you've resolved all the movement, then you're going to go to your action phase, where starting with the player who's at the front of the pack, you're going to select a support card for your location. Okay. So um, Max over here might take this paw card here, and everybody's going to just hold these in their hands. Okay. Remember, the goal is to collect sets to match the icons listed on the villains, mm -hmm. because when you get to the end of the path, if you've collected a set of support cards, you're going to turn those in to help fight the villain and earn those honor points. But each point can only be claimed by one player. So you're sort of racing against one another to try and collect the cards you need in time to get to the villain to help Jack and gain the most honor. Cool. I love that it's a little bit meatier of a game. A lot of times you oh, see yeah. people stick, you know, a cool IP and then they make right. it a really simple, watered down game. Yeah, yeah. It already looks meaty. I love it. Yeah. How, how many players? How long does it usually take? Uh, I can play two to five players and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Basically, there's three rounds. So you're going to set up the path advance along the path, fight a villain. You're going to do that three times. At the end of the third round, you're going to face off against Aku, the ultimate foe, of course. Right. And you can see that the sets you need to collect are a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. so there's going to be a bigger scoring opportunities. Um, and then at the end, whoever has the most honor points is to claim the victor. And basically, Jack is most supportive and um, helpful ally in his quest to vanquish Aku. Cool. Is this for retail available now? Is it coming soon? When's the release date? Coming soon. It will be available at Gen Con. Okay. We'll be releasing it. Uh, and then I'll have a simultaneous release at retail that weekend as well. So first weekend in August, you'll be able to find this game if you're going to visit us at Gen Con or at your local game store. Retail it's $35. Store, yep. Comes okay. with all this. Seven really awesome custom pre-painted minis. All this gorgeous art. Some really fun gameplay. So we're really looking forward to it. And I hope that all the Samurai Jack fans out there have a, have a blast playing uh, Back to the Past. Cool. Thanks so much, Andrew. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hey, guys. I'm here with Tony from Arcane Wonders. We're looking at a couple different games that are coming down the pipe right now. Why don't you give us a run-through of these three? Yeah, I'll do a quick run-through of each game, uh, kind of with when they're coming out. So Good Critters is the first one here. Uh, we have this premise that we're all critters and we're all doing heists. So we all have the loot down in front of us. Okay. And what you do in the game is you are, one player will be the boss. So the boss of the crew divvies up the loot. All right. So everyone did, went on heist. We came back. We have all this, this gorgeous loot in front of us. We, the boss divvies up. Boss might divvy up however he likes. You could be okay. like, so you, you get split, I two thousand, kind of? yeah. Okay. So like basically, it's going to be like I get nine thousand, you get one thousand, you get two. But then the catch is, is that all the critters then vote. Okay. So they have a, a card to hand of five different actions that they can do, and they can either vote no, I don't like the distribution. They can vote yes, where it's like, yep, that, that's good. Uh -huh. Or they can do other actions, like rob each other, take loot <laughs> nice. from each other. And that is done by putting your little threaten marker in front of somebody and then choosing rob. Uh, okay. So it can also be a bluff, though. You could put your threat marker in there and be like, I'm just threatening you because I want you to guard. Okay. And guard, I'm, I'm not going to be robbed. It doesn't matter. I just want the vote to go through. Okay. And so you, there's a lot of player dynamics there. Okay. Very cool. You also have cash that you basically are going and so you, you can do bribes and go, hey, I'll give you three if you vote yes. So right. yeah, yeah. So you're, you're only getting one from the pot, but I'll give you an extra 3K to to, to go with this vote. vote. Okay, yeah. interesting. How so, much does that retail for? Um, it's going to be right in the, the, the $25, $30 range. Okay. Uh, comes out uh, previewing at Gen Con. All right, very cool. So it's going to be later in the year, probably around yeah. September, October, that it launches it's to retail. retail. Okay. But we're going to be doing previews there. I'm going to be playing it here at the, the show. But uh, 
basically we we really love it. High player dynamic, high social. Cool. Everyone's always involved. We'll so. have to give it a shot. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, great. The next one we're gonna go to is the Onitama, Onitama. Wind Spirit expansion. Yeah, cool. Uh, it is Onitama Way of the Wind. Okay. It comes with the little Wind Spirit model. Mm -hmm. It's uh, this isn't the final. It's gonna be a translucent blue color. Acrylic, very cool. Yeah. And then it also comes with eight cards. Ah, okay. So these eight cards have double New moves on Double them. moves. So what ends up happening is, like Onitama regular game, you just put the Wind Spirit in the center. Mm -hmm. You deal out one of the double move cards to each player. Then one you deal move. out the regular cards, either base with game. base game or Sensei's Path. Okay. And so each player will have those. You flip it up. Then... Then our goal is to do what with the new guy? Okay, so the Wind Spear itself is there as a chaos factor. Um, it, it, it blocks the space it is in, so no one can move into the space that the Wind Spear is in. Okay. However, if the Wind Spirit lands on a student, it will switch spaces with them. Oh, interesting. So you can use including it, including your own, including guys. your own yeah, pieces. Right. So you can move the wind spirit onto students. Or... However, it cannot move onto masters. Okay. So you're not using it to win the game. It's Correct. It can also and... block the shrines, though. Ah. Okay. So if you move onto a shrine, that might block it from you being able to move into it for the win. Very cool. It adds a lot of dynamic and different interactions that you couldn't previously have happen. And this is already out now, or when's it coming? Um, that is also in the Gen Con pre-release okay. with uh, the September October time frame for okay. the actual game release. Very cool. The one you picked up was Sensei's Path. I saw that. that yeah, that was earlier. <laughs> so. All right. So Sinchi, give us a rundown on okay. that. Okay. So. Senshi actually just launched uh, June 27th, okay. so it's our, our newest release. And uh, it is a two to four player abstract strategy where you are warrior monks training at your uh, temple, your master is ailing, and one of you will be chosen as successor. Awesome, it'll be me. <laughs> so the way the game works is there's really simple, only three actions. You can study, you can train, or you can test. When you study, you take a stack of tiles from the center and you put it on your card. Okay. When you train, you take a single tile from your from one of the card stacks on your card, from one of the card stacks on your opponent's cards, or from the center, and it goes into your hand. Okay. And these are things you, you can do at any time. You don't have to do them in order or anything. Okay. So you can study, you can train, or you can test. Testing is how you score. Okay. So you, when you score, what you do is you take the tile, fr a tile from your hand, and you, let's say it was red, and you say, "I am testing strength." You would place it below your card in the scoring area, and when you do that, you then go and set, look at your card, and any stacks that are on your card that you've placed on there from studying, if the tile on top is red you would also score those top tiles. Ah, okay. So right, when cool. you test, you score multiple tiles based on what you've done previously. However, when you test, it's also universal. Oh, so all your opponents are points. also scoring based on what they have on their tiles. So getting them to get fewer, getting you to get the most, optimizing all Optimizing that. the movement. And, and the, the object of the game is to have the largest stack of tiles in any one of the four attributes but not have the smallest stack of tiles in any in of them. Whoa, okay. It's because at the end of the game, once all the tiles have been removed from the center, the person with the smallest stack of tiles is eliminated. Cool. And then the person with the largest wins. So you're working your way down. All right. Yeah. Very cool. So it's a, it's a big balancing act. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, thank you. That was a great rundown. No, Looking that, that, forward that's to all rundown. three of these coming down. The only one I haven't mentioned is Critical Mass. Yeah. It's the one that we're previewing pretty heavy here. Uh, great game. Two-player hardcore mech on mech action. And uh, I'm just, we'll, I'll get you a copy and we can talk about that one later. We'll get a review together soon. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Right, thank you.